An administrative agreement outlining the terms of the partnership between the government and the EU Elections Observation Mission for the synchronized elections scheduled for August 23rd was signed yesterday by Zimbabwe and the European Union. Professor Amon Mawaira, the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, and Mr. Jobs von Kirschman, the Ambassador of the EU to Zimbabwe, signed the agreement. Also included in the pact are Canada, Switzerland, and Norway. In his remarks, Professor Mawaira said that Zimbabwe has a tradition of inviting foreign governments and organizations to monitor its elections ever since the introduction of universal suffrage at independence in 1980. In keeping with this tradition and the government's engagement and re-engagement policy, the government of Zimbabwe is once more inviting foreign observers to watch the people of Zimbabwe exercise their sovereign right to freely elect a president. Members of the lower and upper houses of parliament and local government representatives of their choice during these upcoming harmonized general elections. The EU is one of the organizations from around the world that has been invited to watch the upcoming harmonized elections. He stated, According to Professor Mawaira, the administrative agreement also specified what each party should have done during the elections. In this regard, I am happy to let you know that the administrative agreement's goal is to organize the communication between the government of the Republic of Zimbabwe and the EU Elections Observer Mission. In carrying out its duty, the EU Election Observer Mission and its members shall uphold the strictest levels of independence, objectivity, and impartiality. All EU Election Observation Mission observers are required to adhere to the first schedule of the Zimbabwe Electoral Ex Code of Conduct. In addition, he added, the EU Election Observer Mission observers will abide by additional codes of conduct, including the Code of Conduct for European Observers, Declaration of Principles of International Election Observation, and Code of Conduct for International Election Observers. From Zimbabwe's perspective, Professor Mawaira reaffirmed that the country is open to allowing other organizations to observe the elections and stated that the government will give any assistance needed for the EU Election Observer Mission observers to carry out their mandate in accordance with local laws. The first set of 11 specialists with specialized knowledge in various fields is anticipated in the nation next week. Ambassador Von Kirschman welcomed Zimbabwe's invitation to monitor the elections and stated that they were anticipating at least 150 observers. A total of 46 long-term observers, 44 short-term observers, and an equal number of locally hired short-term observers from regional EU embassies will also be present. These observers are scheduled to arrive in mid-July. Mr. Fabio Costoldo, an Italian member of the European Parliament, will act as the team's leader and chief elections observer. This EU election observer mission will carefully adhere to impartiality and the EU's code of conduct for electoral observation missions. In addition to following Zimbabwe's laws and regulations. I believe this is a requirement of the agreement we made, which states that this mission would be impartial and adhere to all laws and regulations and that the government of Zimbabwe will support it by granting it access and providing assistance and protection.